Our very good afternoon. Welcome to what we're calling Afternoon Delights, live from the Rainbow Room here on 702 ABC Sydney Afternoons. As usual, I'm James Valentine and great to be with you. The usual afternoon program will uh, proceed uh, in the second part of the hour today and we're going to continue our investigation attempting to find Sydney's rudest suburb. Uh, the tests so far have been very successful, may I say. Uh, we've had people checking what driver behaviour is like and we've got several people out now walking around the block smiling at people and seeing if they get a response so I'm going to be fascinated to see how that uh, the results of that in the second part of the hour but here on Afternoon Delights we decided that because of a rare a rare coming together of extraordinary human beings all at the one time all wanting to be on 702 Afternoons at once we thought let's get them all in and let's do a bit of a sort of a talk show so I am joined here on Afternoon Delights by none other than guitarist, singer, songwriter, extraordinary performer Nick Kershaw. Nick hello. Good afternoon. Lovely to have you here. Thank you very uh, much. Magnificent interpreter of song, gardener and busker, Kim Wilde is with <laughs> us as well. Hello, Kim. I'm great. Hi. <laughs> Look, lovely to have you. Have you along. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, it's lovely to be here. We're having such a great we're time, aren't we? We're having a great we? time, yeah. Yeah. Have you been in here for a while? Have you had long enough to have some yeah, fun? Yeah, we have. We've had a few days, and luckily the night noodle market's been on, so we've been heading off down there in the oh, evenings and nice. rehearsing in the daytime. It's lovely. been noodle-tastic. Noodle-tastic. Yes. And favourite dishes so far? Uh, well, for me, it's definitely the... Um, the squid mm. with the apple, apple and squid mm. from um, Infusions. Nice one, Infusions, guys. Oh. Why don't you have a restaurant where <laughs> I live? The apple and squid. Gee, that's um, I tell you, it's a taste sensation. Wow. I had it, like um, little chunks of apple or like a stewed apple? It's or? a beautiful grated apple thing and then it has this, oh, the squid is t yeah. cooked. It's so tender. Yeah. What did you have that you loved? I uh, I couldn't, I, I, I make a point of never eating anything I can pronounce. Oh, okay. So I can't, I can't. Are you Absolutely just pointing at things? Any, any notion you know of what? ingredients? It all tastes great. There was, there was chicken in there. was something dead in there. It was, it was either chicken or fish or something, but they were new. it was very yeah. tasty. Yeah. No, it's a good it feature at the oh, moment, it's isn't such it? Great, it's yeah. such a it lovely, lovely place yeah. to visit. Well, that's great. So you're right on Hyde Park there, so you're yeah. enjoying that. Mm -hmm. The gardener in you is seeing is seeing what in our in our lush parks. Well, we went to the botanic garden the first day we got here. Mm. We had a day to try and, to not fall asleep. Yeah. Yes. So um, I, mar I marched them all around the botanic garden, and, uh, and we had a great time. We just spent the whole day just sort of looking up and in wonder mm. at some of the beautiful tree specimens there. And obviously, we all, all, all headed off to the harbour. Mm. You took her in a very, very good photograph, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, it was art. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was great. Nick, I, Nick are oh, you no. aware of anything you're doing no, at any, was, at any point? <laughs> so, well, put it this way. We, we spent that, that whole day trying to stay awake. I've spent the rest of yeah. uh, we, we all the time since trying to go to sleep. Did right. We went to a wedding we weren't invited to. Yeah. yeah. You that went to a wedding. We gate a wedding. Yeah, yeah, we gate crashed a wedding. We, we liked the look of the bride so much we thought we'd hang around. Yeah. Um, and where was it? In, in the botanic garden. In gardens. the botanic garden. Yeah. yeah. And so you hung around the wedding. What happened? Well, someone got married. Yeah. I oh, know someone got married. But did you get involved? <laughs> did you offer to sing or? No, no. We kept. You no, know, we, we, we were respectful, respectful of the, of the situation. Right. right. But okay. we enjo thoroughly enjoyed every moment. Oh, that's good. And did they offer you a drink or anything like that, or come back to the reception or? No, no. that was a bit rude. But no. you know, it's going a bit far. Yeah, yeah right. we were, we were yeah. disappointed well, then. Because yeah. the, the only reason I suggest you might have leapt in and sing is that I've noticed something of a tendency, or you've done it at least once. Um, <laughs> singing in public suddenly places. Suddenly singing in, in, in public mm. places. Um, Indeed. Yes. Yeah, so do you want us to play the You're going to play that? What? <laughs> should, what? Just a minute? Do what? Is, should we? No, I, I, I won't do it if you don't want it. <laughs> but I could just tell people to go to the internet and put in Kim Wilde you Christmas. You can do what you like. I've train. been so humiliated I, by it. I, I think it's not, magnificent. It can't get any worse. It's so lovely. Look, let's just have 30 seconds of Kim Wilde on a train. Christmas to you. It, it is mag it is magnificent, but it was it was a beautiful, heartfelt performance. Just before Ricky Wilde fell over with his guitar. <laughs> That's right. He did fall over after that. What what train line were you on? Well, we were on the um, uh, travel link between King's Cross and 
we ended up at Potter's Bar. Mm. Um, yeah, and then Ricky's wife picked us up, and uh, and it, it was all over. That was good. <laughs> um, alcohol was involved. We went to a Christmas party. Ah, right. We were a bit demob happy because we had December off. We'd right. had a busy year. I do work very hard. Yeah, we, yeah. All, we both work very hard. And we yeah. know, you know what it's like when it, it's demob time. Oh, yeah. And we went to this Christmas party and we'd sung a few songs live and mm. Rick had got up with his guitar and then we got on the train and I said to Rick, come on, Rick. How often are we going to be on a train at Christmas with a guitar and antlers? Let's not forget. That's right. You yeah. do have antlers on as well. And yeah. we went for it. Yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Were you aware? Have you heard, seen the modern phenomenon of phones with cameras? Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't thinking about that. I was just having fun. <laughs> and it, well, yeah. the beautiful thing is that, that what I like about it is that whoever filmed it kept it very steady. Uh, you're in shot the whole time. It's very audible. And then they put it up with such joy as well. They, they, they whack did. it up. They're going, oh, isn't this fantastic? Yeah, I mean, you've kind them. of loved it, haven't you? I have. I've, I've, got, I've sort of right. fallen on the right oh, yeah. side of it. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Rob Schneider's just uh, wandered I, I just, in. That's Hello. That's the rudest thing I think I've ever done. I've just no. Seen you walk <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's perfect. Oh, Kim Wilde, Rob Schneider. Oh, no, oh, oh, my goodness. This Kim is Kim Wilde. Kim Wilde. Really? Yeah. Wow, great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Nick Kershaw. Pleasure. Rob Schneider. Well, Did, were you not? A, I'm I James Valentine. I never thought I'd get to meet Kim Well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's fantastic. Were what you not are you a, doing? We're doing, a, we're doing five dates here. We're, yeah. We'll start are tomorrow you? in Brisbane and we end up in you. Perth. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's good. For, I'm doing five dates here too. Yeah. I'm going to be in Perth uh, tonight, I think. So then you could probably drop in on each other's afterwards and that'd be... I'd love to. Mm-hmm. Can that'll I just, be fun. Can I bring you up to speed, Rob? Yeah, please, please. Um, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to yeah, see nice you. Thanks for coming in. They told me to come in. I, I don't feel. I feel like I'm a jerk just walking right in the middle no, no, of the interview here. It, this is this is absolutely. <laughs> how, you saved me. <laughs> you saved that's yeah, right. Yeah, oh no, we'll get back to that. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, this, this is absolutely how this show goes. Uh, okay. The the what you're on at the moment. We, we're going live to air. It's the, okay. but we're going live on radio. Okay. Live on radio. Live on radio. Live on radio. But we are taping it uh, because because of this extraordinary circumstance where all three of you are available at once. I thought. I can be Jimmy Fallon. I can, I can, I can do a talk not? show. Yeah. You know, I can get the gang in. We can have a chat like this. So as long as you're happy with that, and yeah. you know, that, that's it's. I think it's been going all right so far. Are you happy so far? It's really good. Yeah, it's been good. It's, been good. it's called Afternoon Delights mm-hmm. Live from the Rainbow Room. Okay, so Great. on seven hundred two ABC Sydney. And so now everybody that's knows what we're doing. Good gig you got going for. It's all right, isn't it? it? You know, it, it's it's living quite, the dream. We were just discussing um, Kim's extraordinary appearance on YouTube, where she sang "Kids in America." on a train, a little under the weather, as we might say. In, no, in... it wasn't under the weather. I was pissed. P- pissed is, oh, is a more, more accurate description. <laughs> it's been nice, yeah. Yeah, a little bit intoxicated, <laughs> but a beautiful, magnificent, stirring performance. And yeah. um, it's captured, all six minutes are captured on YouTube. When was can... that, by the way? When was it? It was to... last Christmas. It was last Christmas. But it's had two million hits on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, can you believe that? <laughs> wow. I just get a bit wrecked, get yeah. on a train, sing a song yeah. or two. And then off, off Well, that's goes. a great song. It's a great yeah. song. Yeah, and my and the guy who wrote it, Ricky Wilde, was with me with his guitar, See? as luck would have it. See? And so we just went for it. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah, that that's fair. Fair. Any similar moments for yourself? Have you ever were I broken into song on a broken train? Broken song publicly, <laughs> or perhaps post Christmas party on New Year's Eve. Uh, a um, little public performance. I don't know. I mean, I, I I kind of once in a while I'll do some karaoke thing where I'll have to someone will get me to sing some old Elvis song or something. Yeah. Yeah. Treat me like a fool, treat me mean and cruel, but love me, take my faithful heart, tear it apart, but love me, won't you love me? You know, something like that. I'll do that, only if I have to. I, I, geez, it was so hard to persuade you to do that, wasn't it? Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was rather beautiful. It really if I, was. If I only had to get done. That. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, you know, Elvis, is, uh, he was got me into show yeah, business. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How did Elvis get you into show business? Well, he just said, like, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that me too. I, like, I saw Elvis and I, I thought, I said, I want to do, I want to do that. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, there's nothing pretty much, you know, people screaming at you while you're doing something, anything. Yeah. Yeah. In a positive way, screaming at you. What got you into it, Nick? David Bowie. Yeah. Why'd you For hear? For different reasons, I think. Um, he, I just saw a documentary on, on, on TV of, of David Bowie about 1973, it was. Mm. Um, that was a heck of a time for him. That was a heck of a time. Mm-hmm. David Bowie will tell you. He said, he said, Dave, what was going on? He said, that was a dark time. It was a dark, dark, dark time. time. Yeah, yeah. He was having his dark time. Yeah. But Bowie, by 1973, Bowie's released what albums? 
Uh, that was that was that Ziggy was, Stardust. It was the glam stuff. Yeah, the that's rock the glam. glam as yeah. the, the Genius song. stuff though too. Yeah. I mean, and then after that, I mean, he had like he he says he doesn't remember 1973, but at the same time, a year later, he wrote you know, uh, Young Americans. Mm. I mean, I mean, that, mm. I mean, talk about a guy who's like. When he was like drugs, he was still just yeah, incredibly yeah. prolific. Yeah, yeah. That's right. A year That's later, right. Young Produced Americans. Transformer, you know. It's not it's, bad. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's still in 82 was his biggest album. Mm. You would think like some of that early stuff, but like mm. his biggest stuff was like China Girl. And that, that was the stuff that kind of got all the dummies. You yeah, know, yeah. there was always the cool people like yourselves and stuff that were into him early, right? Mm. So when but, was Hunky Dory then? What year oh, was that? that was 69, well, no, 69 or 70. It was, was it really? Yeah, early? really. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sure. He was still like that's a, the one that blew mm, me away. Influenced by a lot of other people at yeah, that yeah. time, you know. But he, so you hear Bowie at that point, and then what do you want to do? Do you want to be in Bowie's band? You want to be a singer songwriter? What are you thinking? No, I just I just want to dress up in something that looks like my granny knitted it. The one <laughs> the one piece <laughs> that one piece leotard thing with the yeah. leg missing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't want to wear that. I don't know if that ever could come back again. That kind of thing. I don't mm. see why that, not. Yeah. You don't see why not. Just need someone if it's good to, music, right? And somebody with a lot of big personality to do it. Yeah, I guess so. No, I just, I just loved that. I just, it was, it was otherworldly to me. I mean, I had yeah. really kind of normal middle class upbringing. And yeah. It was just like this, this geezer was from another planet. Were you playing guitar yeah. by then? No, not really. Well. Not until after that. Like mm. a guy like The Cure. Like I would have never dyed my hair red mm. or an all black. I've dyed my hair I mean, black. I mean, and I had like you know wore that guy or wore lipstick. I never, still to this day, have it. But yeah. I'm saying though, I would have never dyed my hair black unless I would have saw The Cure. And isn't right, that right. guy? Well, that guy's cool. I got to do that. I can do that. And that was like you know. Oh uh, yeah. What, what were you cool. wanting to do at 15 or 16? I wanted to be, um, I don't know, what, to avoid a day job, that was for sure. Yeah. Avoid a real job. But no, I wanted to be some kind of rock and roll comedy kind of thing. Yeah. Or some, some equivalent to that, whatever the hell that hmm. was. But you knew it was comedy by then? Yeah, well, because that was what was the most exciting. You got to do what most excites you the most, you know? Yeah. Whatever feels like, God, that's just, I got to do that. And then yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. And then you, you just find a way to get on there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. There was 15 like a, or 16, what did you want to do, Kim? You got to know by 15 or 16, don't you think? Mid-teens. Oh, yeah, I knew younger. I was if much you younger. I yeah. wanted to be a singer and stuff. So. Like nine? Uh, yeah, nine or ten. Yeah. If, you're not, if you're not doing yeah. it by nine or ten, I don't think you can do it. I mean, really? Uh, I mean, Seriously? I think it's got to be like, it's like a language. Yeah. You got to have that kind of excitement for it, and then to really, really have a flair for it, yeah. you got to think by then. Yeah. I think so, don't you think? Yeah. I don't I like know. I, I, I'm more of a big believer that you can come to it at almost any time. I mean, whether whether or not you'll be... Well, yeah, you got a big well, radio show, so sure, yeah, you got the thing now. Yeah, yeah but you know. whether or not it'll be, you know, world-beating, that might be another question. But I, I like to think that you can, you can take on stuff at any time. Well, some time. guys, I mean, it, it's, it's true. I mean, I would say that, like, a guy like, uh, you know... Bird Parker. I mean, mm. he didn't start playing sax till he mm. was eighteen. Yeah. Mm. So he found that's pretty late, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. But yeah. like, we're, I was talking to my buddy Michael about surfing. It's like if, if you weren't, I didn't start surfing until I was like thirteen, fourteen. It was too mm. late. Yeah. The guys were started eight, and nine, were kicking yeah, yeah, my yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah. But you then know? it depends on how much time you put into it. If you if you if you you know took two years off now and just surfed, you'd get you'd improve. That's true. You get you better, were, but not that good. Yeah, not that good. Not in your you were 40s. you were showbiz family though, Kim, right? Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, I did know very young. I mean, I, I was watching my dad do gigs, and I was falling in love with the whole idea of, of. I, I just love the way he hypnotised the audiences and brought them so much joy. In. You and went I to I the loved, gigs, and at what age? Well, you know, when I was like nine and ten, and wow. so I, I see was, what happens. You know, and people. I'd be standing there watching him singing and everything. And being, you know, and singing Elvis songs, hmm. similarly to yeah. the way you you sang it there. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully better. Can you yeah. sing an Elvis song? Um, yeah. Can you do it? Got a few drinks and I'll I'll see whatever you like. Yeah, do it on a train. You need the antlers though as well. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> give me the antlers and a, and a bottle of uh, gin and I'll be. A... But I mean, we're talking about like like change or can you do stuff later? You became a gardener later. You studied yeah. horticulture yeah, from yeah, from what yeah. about the year two thousand or so? You, what... Yeah, I think yeah. if you've got a passion for something, you can take it on at any time. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. And where did that come? Was that a sudden thing? Had you, had you always, you know, garden a little on the side, or you find um, a tomato that just was like this right. is it? You no, know, I, I loved. I, I, I moved from London to the countryside when I was uh, ten, mm. and it had a big impact on me. And then after that, so I carried that seed of of the love of the countryside with me from a very from that moment, right? Um, because I came to it with wonder, a bit like coming to Sydney. You know, all you guys, you take it for granted, maybe, yeah. and then we turn up, you know, on our on our flight and we mm. and we're sort of walking around the Bota- Royal Botanic Garden going oh, oh wow this is yeah. amazing so yeah. there's that there was that wonder for nature and it hasn't mm. left me but of course it, it, it went dormant um, during the 80s because um, I was doing El- 
other things, but mm. now it's come back. It's really strong. Mm. And but did it feel like a big step, or did it feel like a like were you frightened of doing, making that sort of change? Uh, yeah, there was an, an element of fear, and then yeah. I, and I, I through the years I learnt that you know jumping in in scary places was a great idea because mm. uh, I, I came up. Always mm. learning something, and mm. and it's not just yeah. a hobby or interest, right? Like scary though, horticulture. I mean, that doesn't sound like a scary thing. Like <laughs> oh, the most frightening thing. That but doesn't I mean, sound like it's frightening for you to get in the garden. There might, there might be a shrub. Step outside. Oh know? my God, there's a Did shrub. You have a tomato that went wrong, and you felt like this is it. I've got to kill. I've got Could to be. end it all. Could be. No, Could but um, change is sometimes scary. Yeah. Change, isn't it? change is yeah, scary. Yeah. 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 It wasn't so much that I went yeah. into horticulture as that was scary. If but we, there were you, lots of elements right. about it that are scary. Yeah. Stop doing what you're doing and start a surf shop tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, that wouldn't be scary for me. I mm. mean, I, I, it's much scarier throwing yourself up in front for public potential scorn. Yeah. I mean, me starting stand up again was. Like, I have always thought that doing what you're doing, what you do, is the scariest. scariest thing. Yeah, especially ever. after you're famous, and then so really people come to know you specifically. Really? That's that fear. Absolutely. Well, yeah. no, it's not fear. It's about you know what I found as a performer too. You, you again, I, I I got afraid of being afraid. I like right. I wanted to conquer that fear of that. Yeah. And I remember like I got to a point where I like you know because when you're first starting out, especially when you nobody knows you and it's just this humiliation. I mean, I remember like I said I got to remember what this feels like. Mm. And so like when you're bombing up there and you're first you know no one's paying attention. You're at some bar, or some shithole, and you know in the suburbs of San Francisco. And I just remember walking off the stage after just eating it, and like I felt like my ears were melting off of my head. That was mm. the kind of physical manifestation mm. of just humiliation in right. front of a live audience, you know. But who gives a shit? Why'd but you I, go back? You know, it's funny. Um, two reasons, I think. Uh, one was uh, I just did a movie with Chris Rock, who's probably America's premier comedian, mm. and uh, he said, "You can do it. You could be the best at it." And I said, "If this guy thinks that, right. then maybe I can." And then I saw. And I, I was saying, I don't know, still, what would I talk about? You just talk about what you talk about with me right now. And I said, okay, all right. And then I saw George Carlin perform mm. right before he died. Mm. He did. I, I saw, literally saw his last uh, show. And um, I was just humbled by it. Right. Because he was so current, so funny, so right there. And you could tell he was sick. You know, you could tell he wasn't well. But, like, man, he was right on top of it. And he's fearless about it. Mm. And he's really, you know, and I said, well, now that's something that, that humbled me. Mm. And I said, now that I'd like to try. I've never done that. I never got to stand up to that place. By the time I had a good 25 minutes, I was famous, you know, luckily, thankfully. Mm. It's like having a hit song, boom, you're out there. And like, okay, now I'm not, am I in show business now? <laughs> right, Is this right. it? So okay, you felt like there was, there was unfinished business there. You, want, you wanted to take stand up to a new, to a new, I did. new level. So that's, yeah. a, that's an artistic This has supposed to be the most right? recorded, this, this, as far as me, the most rewarding time of my career right, right. now. Right. More than the movies. Because yeah, I looked at your ske- the schedule. Like, you are booked. You are doing clubs through to, like, next August kind of Yeah, thing. You're, you're I'm just flat out. What's well, the only way to get good at it? Yeah. I was talking to a terrific uh, uh, young uh, Australian comedian who's opening for me here, Monty mm. Franklin. Great mm. guy. And it's like, you know, it's like playing, you know, you stop for two weeks. Yeah. You lose it. Yeah. I mean, literally, we, we worked a week. Let's go practice our stuff before our tour. So we went out to Dayton, Ohio for a couple of days. Right. Dayton, Ohio, who gives a crap? Right. I said, let's see if it works out there. Yeah. I said, you'll murder out there. You murder out there, you'll murder anywhere. Mm. And so it was just good to kind of get fresh. And then the next thing I know, you're on this flight out here. But you got I mean, you have to really want it. And the yeah. thing is, and also, as, as Kim will tell you, you got to enjoy it. Yep. If you're loving it, then it has a chance to get that, that energy and that excitement. Yeah. Yeah. And then you never know how you know how long it'll last or whatever. And if, it, if you're lucky enough, it comes back to you. Yep. You know, so yeah. it's just, you know, uh, who knows? You listen to, uh, this is Rob Schneider, writer, actor, director, stand-up comedian again. Um, we're, you're on 702 ABC Sydney, don't be confused. It's nice um, to get those slashes, you know, actor, that's slash, right. you, writer. You've got lots of slashes and, uh, in there. You Gilbert Kim- Godfrey's got a great joke about that. You know, you never hear Hitler they, they, describing Hitler like Hitler, madman slash dictator. <laughs> 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 I think, I think you know, dictator pretty much covers all of those. Does, does <laughs> Kim Wilde is, is with us as well, songwriter, singer, gardener. Busker Gardner and uh, Nick Kershaw, <laughs> fearless you know, horticulturalist, guitarist, fearless <laughs> horticulturalist. Um, it's twenty-five after two. Extreme because it's radio, I have to give the time. You're on seven hundred two ABC Extreme Sydney. Extreme horticulturalist. <laughs> Rob, the other thing I wanted to pick up with you is your sudden political conversion. Uh, you've become. Yeah. You've become. You're sort of saying, "I'm not. I'm neither Democrat or Republican. I've become Californian." Seems to be. I'm almost sick of the. Well, first of all, you know, the Obama. I'm a real social liberal for the. Christ's mm. sake. Thank God you guys have you know, gay marriage here. You know, I mean, it took so long in the United Not States. Quite. It just seems a no brainer. You know, mm. it's, it's a no brainer. Mm. And you, you're, you know, of course, you're, you know, the guy in charge now is against it. Mm. But you have, like, I mean, it's mean, uh, I, I, you can really 
have to make jokes about stuff that are no brainers like gay mm. marriage. And that's mm. me. I talk about it because the Supreme Court finally ruled, which is a pretty conservative Supreme mm. Court, to rule that you know the Defense of Marriage Act was unconstitutional. Basically, that gays and lesbians deserve the same rights and benefits as people who are not going to go to hell. Mm. You know, which yeah. is one of my favorite jokes, yeah, Mac. Right. But you, 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 hear, you hear the audience kind of wait, and then, yeah. then, then they kind of laugh. But the um, so, uh, but Obama's been such a disappointment. He gets such a free ride from the media, and he, he's you know we are like you know spying on our own neighbors mm. on, our, on the Brazilian president. Mm. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's outrage. It's it's honestly, it's like borderline fascism, and he can get away with it because the press is so cowed by him in the United States. Mm. You know, from uh, expanding wars and and you know it's. To me, it's uh, you have to mock this. So but I, been, I can't stay part of. But you've been a long, party. a long time Democrat or social liberal. I've been now, I'm not anymore. And I now you're standing I, up next to the Republican. I, candidate I would rather in be a Republican. Just to, yeah. and it's such an asshole position to take because yeah. the Republicans are even worse in many ways. Yeah. But my dad was a very uh, the last. I mean, uh, the the last real progressive president in the United States was who would you guess? You might say the la I would say progressive. Truman. Um, well, that's an interesting. You know, interesting. You're close. Hmm. The last progressive president in the United States was Nixon. Hmm. Nixon's the one who started the Environmental Protection Agency. He hmm. was very pro labor. He was very, you know, he 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 had ideas about stuff. He opened opened up China hmm. to you know, which China was like a starving man looking for a sandwich. You know, it's yeah. not like that was hard to do, yeah. but he did it. Yeah. You know, he realized that there was an opening there, and that that needed to happen. Mm. Uh, but he also, you know, you know, had some issues and bombed Laos, and, mm. and Laos was a country that doesn't even know that there was Laos. They just know there's a village here and a village yeah, there yeah, and yeah. a village there, and yeah, they yeah. just bombed them. You yeah. know, Kissinger. Kissinger is not allowed to go to certain parts. I didn't of, think what I was reading today anyway was that I, I didn't get a sense of a federal opposition, more a state opposition. Well, the problem that California, Calif that California it, it has moving industry in California. Well, here's the California. California. California has a, not just a majority of Democrats; they have a super majority. Right. And so here's what they do is they, they just decided to just spend and to keep spending on a system that isn't working, like which is kind of bores the crap out of your listeners. But 50% hmm. of kids in the biggest school district in the United States is a dropout. Hmm. They don't finish school. 50%. So you have like this is a system that you don't throw more money at. you got to figure out another way to do it. Hmm. And so the only way to, to, to really upend this is to really publicly speak about it and say this is a complete, utter failure. Hmm. You guys are not helping. You know, you're just throwing more money at a system that's broke. So you have to. What you have to do is kick these guys out of office. You have to get other people in there, and you have to take their money away from them because mm. it's a broke system. Yeah. Nick, and, do you do you do you go political, Nick? Are you a political person? Would you would you make a similar? Uh, uh, maybe not publicly, but but privately, would you make a similar rant like that? Not on clear. I don't know. Not no. If if something gets yeah gets me hot under the collar, I'll have a I'll you have, have a tweet. To speak up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you do. So you have to. Sure. I mean, sometimes. I mean, first of all, for whatever reason, I'm famous. I mean, I didn't say it to like to get on the news. Mm. It just it was a slow news week, and everybody picked up on right. it because I'm a celebrity, and that's what happens. I went to a fundraiser for a really nice guy who's for parental rights kind of mm. thing, and I said I'd vote for that guy. I don't care if I'm a Democrat, and then I just said, you know, I, the Democrat Party no longer represents me. Boom, it's out there. Yeah, so yeah. that's the potential problem. But also, I think like you know, there, there's I don't have many heroes in life, but one of them. Uh, beside yourself, sir, mm -hmm. is uh, M. Scott Peck. He's yeah. just—he was a great. I got to meet him a couple of times, and he's—he uh, wrote *The Road Less Traveled*. And he said something to me that I never forgot. He said, "Rob, if the devil exists, he's saying, don't make waves." Mm. You know, mm. so you got to step up and you got to say what you think. Yeah. But the, the, you know, in, in my act, I just do it for jokes. I have to because it, it's not fair. Like they're not. No one's there to see. Like when they come see me at the Sydney Opera Hall, mm. which is a, what it's an not honor going to be to a lecture on the ills of American government. Yeah, nobody <laughs> gives a shit to me what they think, what Rob Schneider think about about anything, basically. Yeah. But I do think if I could do it for jokes, and it's a, a subversive way to bring people yeah. to my point of view. Yeah, yeah, you That's can do true. the same thing musically. That's true. You know. Yeah. Kim and uh, Nick, you're on at the uh, Enmore this uh, this Thursday. What, what do we see? What's, what's the show? What's happening? I want to hear that. Well, um, I'm going on first. Yeah. To warm them up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my set with, with, with we're using an Aussie band, right. or, uh, Aussie rhythm section. Mm -hmm. We've got um, Kim's brother with us, yep. Ricky. Um, Kim's niece with us, Scarlett, who's oh, doing yeah. back in vocals. All big family affair. Uh, they're playing with me. And then Kim does the second half. I'm... I'm 
playing in her band, right. I'm her guitar player. With the right. same Australians? Yeah. 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 So nice. I'm very excited Next about Next one, lead guitarist. I am yeah. Kim's lead guitarist. Oh, makes me chuffed. So, that that's is good. very exciting. That's good. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. No. So that's the end more this coming Thursday. Yeah. Have you done the show already? That's, that's beautiful. We're doing one tomorrow in Brisbane. Yeah. And then we go to Mornington on the 17th. And right. we're in Melbourne on the 18th. Yeah. And we're in Sydney on the 19th. And very we're in Perth on the 20th. Fantastic. Look, right at the moment, you're only in Sydney, so you only have to do the more. But well done on doing those other ones. That's very good. Rob, we'll see you at the Opera House uh, as part of Just for Laughs. That's over yeah. the next week? Uh, this Saturday night. This Saturday The one night. Uh, one, just one opportunity show, one only to see. W- with my buddy Monty Franklin, we're performing together. Fantastic. What a bitch. We are right. that night? We are. In Marvel. Well, you know what? You can see you know half... What? You, you got to see Kim Wilde, see half that show. See and that, come on and over. then duck over there. That's the last 15 I've got to let uh, you two have got to go and do other things, so we've got to, got to wrap it up. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rob, for coming in. Hey, thank Marvelous. you for having well me. Well done. Nick, I Kim, wish I could thank see you for the show. It was a pleasure. Delightful. See you again. And uh, this has been Afternoon Delights on 702 ABC Sydney. <laughs>